Hello and welcome to the God is a Geek podcast. My name is Adam Cook and I am here this week with two people with the same name because by the way we record this in video now, you can already see them, maybe even their names. Which one will I go to first? Does it matter? It matters to me, sort of. <laughs> Uh, that's now I've now got to be careful. How about both Chris White and Chris Hyde just say hello at the same time? Hello. hello. Actually worked. How are you? That was yeah, it did. Can Been you do that can for you half do the, an hour? <laughs> can, you, I was gonna say, can you do the red dwarf thing where if you both just say every you know that have you ever seen that scene where they just talk at the same time the whole night? Yes. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. No, I mean you'd need a script, presumably. We there would. is some sort of weird Chris based telepathy. Um, maybe maybe it's like twins. Maybe we just know. <laughs> maybe yeah. um how is everyone right everyone good yeah i'm good thanks man good i'm glad to yeah, hear I'm, that i'm good as well i figured i'd probably let chris speak for that one and then say my bit rather than a speak at the same time but yeah i'm all right with, yeah. with a bit of luck chris you won't have to to stream in stream in to call in via your phone which is what's happening now no um no you, you, uh, you, do you know what actually yes. before we do move yes, on it, i do want to say thank you to everybody that um has been has been there for me the last few weeks, especially with the just giving. It's gonna mean we get a new phone for my daughter, new capture units, new laptops, everything. So thank you to everybody. It's been it's been really, really great, and it's meant a lot. So I will be back to normal, hopefully recording on a proper mm. proper PC soon. So yeah, well yeah, all good. Thank you. The dedication to the cause, man. I <laughs> yeah. I, I raise my latte mug. Uh, which admittedly, on camera, I'm, I'm hoping people are listening and watching because it's a, a bit wanky, perhaps like a it's mug with right. latte on it. Is it? Do, What's wrong with it? that? You don't. Well, if you no, if you don't think it is, I'm not going to push the. Uh, I'm not going to push the <laughs> angle. I just thought it was. A, I've literally got like frothed milk and everything. Can you see? You've actually got a latte in your oh, latte. It's an actual latte mug. I've, I've got. Um, I, I'm a games journalist, lads. I mean, you know, yeah, surely true. you. I mean, surely you two have just you know pulled up in your Ferraris to your second homes where you record the podcast, right? You know, exactly. It's, it's, you yeah, know. Malibu. I'm in you know, Malibu I, right now. I gotta say, I love the fact that we've just gone from quite a heartfelt moment where Chris has thanked people for helping him out when he got basically burgled, <laughs> basically, and I've just then gone straight into the games journalists have Lamborghinis and Ferraris <laughs> joke. Um, this yeah, week is going to be a little cares. bit different um, because I am on the end, hopefully, of a of a bit of a bug, not that one. Um, so we're going to just talk a couple of games quickly, and we're going to talk about the. Let's face it, the big the big news is the PlayStation Five. Um, but yep. let's just have a quick chat because Chris uh, White and myself have played um, the Crash Bandicoot Four. It's about time demo. Um, I've read what you, um, you know, what you had to say because you wrote something for the site. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I feel like I liked it more than you. I'm, I'm not sure if I misunderstood because what you know, the gist <laughs> of it is, is it's really uh, hard. And well, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm interested to in what you think in in the. I I have to think that the three... Because le- two of the levels are kind of the same. Like, there's an ice space level that I've forgotten the name of, and then there's another ship happens ice space level, which is yep. that same level, but you start it as Cortex, and then you get to a certain point in that level. And I find I actually found that a bit weird. I was wondering if... Do, do you think you... Do you think those levels will be like that in the game? Because I feel like you should start as Cortex, then you switch to Crash... But the yeah. idea of playing that level as Crash earlier as well is a bit of a weird one. I kind of liked that idea oh, actually, and I hope definitely. I hope they do do that because it's it, the concept is time. It's all about yes. time, literally. Yeah. So to have have those two levels meeting in the middle, but still offering different gameplay elements, like you literally playing as Neo Cortex. So which they I are didn't doing even that. know was a thing, by the way. No, I had no idea. I, I mean, I knew That's that you could play as... Um, when it started. What's the, the female character that used to be his girlfriend? Not, is it Coco? No. Coco's his girlfriend yeah, now, yeah. right? No, that's his sister. Oh, I don't know. incestuous relationship? <laughs> Possibly. But Doesn't one of the characters has gone dark. Which the, basically, yeah. one of the characters that was his girlfriend has, has seemed to... Something's happened, but she's come back into the present fuck part. Yeah. Whatever the time zone that video's in. And she's kind yeah. of all gone cyberpunk, and you can play as her, and she seems really cool. So we knew yeah. you could play as her. But I didn't know you could play as Cortex. But that's a really no. cool idea. It is. And the the gun he's got, it'd be nice to see if that does more as you play. I like that, by the way. I really you, like you... playing as him. I found that was di- yeah. Like, different. Yeah. You fire in at the like the animals and turn them into platforms. So that's how you yes. can get, get across. And then you can... It doesn't tell you, from... by the way. 
Unless I missed no, something in the demo, because you actually shoot them as you, as Chris says, you shoot them and they turn into a, a solid platform. Well, well, yeah, you shoot that platform, also, it turns into a bouncy one. Also, where was the prompt to tell you that you can actually like glide? Air, da- air like, dash. dash, air dash, yeah. But I will so, say like, that that's that stuff all combined made me feel like um, you know Celeste when you get quite far into Celeste and it gets like really you know you recharge via this thing and, and you, you just it's all going but it's all here and it's yeah. all here it kind of made me think actually they could because i know they've talked about some of the sort of extra levels being mega mega hard i was thinking about cortex's gameplay specifically and how that air dash shooting things um could actually make for some really mega good i mean i by the time i got to cortex i started playing on the d-pad rather than the stick and then when you, yeah. as Cortex, because the first bit of Cortex is completely side-scrolling, and then you come around a bend when you get above it, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's a 3D game. <laughs> and I forgot because, yeah, yeah. I really like the Cortex stuff, Chris. Really liked it. it. Was, no, it was cool. And uh, it, it's just, it was more, what? Because there was, there was moments of the demo like yeah. that are a lot of fun. Like, I'm, not, I'm not saying the whole game is bad, and I'm not, and I'm, and I, it could just be because I'm not, used to playing i don't want to put age as a problem but like my <laughs> as, as a kid you reflex it or as younger reflexes like you notice yeah. playing like call of duty now as to playing it when you were like 16 yeah how different you are so it was like when i played the insane trilogy how it felt really hard and i thought well i'm sure i didn't have this kind of problem when i was younger because it, it was like a complete like remake like the, the level design didn't really change so this is a completely new crash game. So mm. they've obviously incorporated a lot from what made it what it was. But I, I think there's like the, the the first level. It was I think it was Snow Way Out, wasn't it? Where you get the Where um you, ice version of time. What's the yeah. what, what are they called? Like the the the, the, the guy that sort of goes, Udubuga, that guy. Um, he yeah. It, he I can't remember. No, but yeah, he, there's but an ice a, version it, that lets you freeze a, time. Yeah, you get different masks, don't you? Yeah, with and the trigger. So that, you hit the trigger mask. and it freezes time. And the idea is, um, like, so there's icicles falling that are platforms and you cannot make that jump unless you freeze time. Where, so there's two icicles. This is a video, very video thing. I apologize. Icicles at this level and they're, they're, they're dropping from the screen and you have to freeze them like that so you can jump onto this one, then this one and make it okay. to the next state. Um which again I like, but I'd be surprised if that was mega early in the demo. Would you? I mean, in the actual game. I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of different types of masks. Cause no, but I mean that one because of how precise. I mean, I died oh, 30, how 30 times. It was. That on that yeah. level, I died 30 times to get through it. I think I was about the same. Because that's something we should mention as well. There's they, two different. They can't. Two... Go on. I was just going to say they can't start off like that. I think it would be very brave to start with an ice was... level put off yeah no it would well brave just, isn't the word is it actually I just, by by um <laughs> by the bit where you're jumping over the like the moving platforms in the water where some yeah. are like static some break and then mm-hmm. some are just pure ice so you're sliding everywhere yep like that was still my head in really was yeah and I, and I was i was jumping between them but i tell you what is good the the um icon underneath you so that you know where you're gonna land if you land that's never existed before. So having the ability to see where you're going, whether you're side scrolling or whether you're moving forward or moving backwards or whatever yes. way. Like what did that, you, that's what did you What did you make of the? Because there's two. There's like modern and there's classic option. And I worked out what they do. So modern, basically, you that, there's no lives. You just die. There's a little counter in the top corner that up here that says like how many times you've died. Um, classic or retro i forget which they call it still has the death counter but you have lives so i presume but then i don't the games like this like and we'll you know we'll, we can start moving into it but super mario 3d all stars so, like some of those older games yeah. where they have lives i don't think it works nowadays because those games are you do die in them and when you get a game over all you do really is get kicked out of the level and have to go back into like you know so mario sunshine if you die like game over all you do is you you're sort of taken out of the level so instead of restarting the level when you die you restart outside the level so it's not really a punishment and it's sort of i don't i, don't, I think i will be playing yeah, modern like... yeah i think it's like you, it was had a purpose when it's like the original mario brothers because you're like right okay well Back to the start. My life, that's it i've got to start the whole thing again did you know that's like, not true one, by the way one run if you like but did you know that's not actually true 
I, this blew my mind. I did not know I this was a thing. So when you die so in long. Super Mario Bros, the original, you like you say, that's it. Life's gone. You start the game from 1-1. That's not true. Apparently, mm -hmm. if I forget which combo it is. I think if you press select or something and press start, you actually start from... So say you were on 6-3 and you died. You actually start from 6-1. Mm -hmm. six, six, oh, so from the start of the world. I never knew that. Right, okay. As a kid, I definitely didn't know that. No. 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 I just didn't die though. I was so good. Fair. <laughs> You've never died that's in a video really game, lovely. as I understand yeah, that's it. That's what never. I need. Hmm. So, Chris, hi. Oh, no. But it's, it's good. It, it is because the other level. I was going to say, Chris, it is it, a very traditional, like the dinosaurs chasing you, and it's very traditional. And I feel like that one would come earlier than those ice levels. It, yeah, because it, it 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 kind of it's not. I mean, the, it's not as. I don't think it was as hardcore as the as the ice level, no. and the, the dinosaur chases were were tricky, but they're not they weren't impossible. Like I find them a lot easier than a lot of the levels. Mm. There's just a bit at the end of the Dino Dash level where you have to jump over moving platforms in the lava. Yes, as one of the platforms moves onto this like rock, you have to jump on it, slide under while still main, staying on the platform, and then jumping onto the next moving platform. Mm. That proper twitch platforming like so like, i can't see in this it's no so, so so the reason the the way people struggle on that and i worked this out a while ago now actually those sections are not designed to be played this is going to sound bad by engaging your brain too much they are so so in in a platform game you are meant to you know you in your head like playing like a th say mario maker you want to make a bigger jump than you need to make to make that jump you know, you might need to land here, but you're going to yeah. jump over and get further. In these games, they're designed for you to jump at the natural point of jumping. So even though you can double jump in, in Crash 4, you shouldn't be. Because by doing that, you are over jumping. The gap has been designed to be that far apart, which is a distance of a jump. And you're double jumping, meaning you're going here and you're making the next jump then harder because it's then expecting the sort of same amount of distance, as it were. Mm. Um, yeah. But that can yeah. make for awkward design, and I would, I, I'm, I mean, I'm just gonna say, and I, I said this in my Mario 3D All Stars review. I'm a bigger fan of 2D platforming, and um, my favorite bits in this game were the 2D stuff, like say the crash, you know, the the, the cortex stuff, and I do really yeah. like the ideas they've got though, because like some of yeah. the levels that, like the you know, little bonus levels where you get on a thing and go off to the next bit. Yeah. Some of them are like, I don't know how I get that. I don't know how I get that specific box up there. I I just don't get it, um, which is means they. Are, but I just hope they haven't gone too far in that difficulty area and like the whole game's balls hard. You know, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I'd like. We'll see. There'll, to be, be, able there'll to get be tons of it. levels, won't there? There'll be like there'll yeah. be loads to get through. So I, I think there'll be plenty. There's. I mean, also we're jumping into these demos after not playing it for a long time and have no idea what I. I, yeah. feel, I feel like there's a sequence break in here in terms of the way the levels are presented. I don't feel that they're presented in the way you'll play them. Um, and also, I no. should say, by the way, looks amazing, sounds amazing. Oh, yeah. Love the character. Like, having the little cutscenes and stuff, they're so... I'd watch a cartoon of this. Um, yeah. Big yeah, time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, um, yeah, well, I mean, when we get hold of the final game, we'll, we'll talk about it more, but it's only a three-level demo. Really, really pleased, personally. But it is hard, like, really hard. But then... Checkpoints are decent. It's just it's a bit frustrating. Um, old games aren't frustrating, though, are they, Chris Hyde? Because I know that you'll have definitely played countless hours of Super Mario 3D All Stars after reading my phenomenally gifted hand <laughs> nine out of ten <laughs> review. Um, I've kind of got a confession to make. You've never and played I'll, a Mario I'll, game. I'll, <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Um, and this is only going to make sense for people watching on the video, which is a very good reason to you, watch the can, video. We can talk through it. But um, what I've got here is the Amazon parcel still sealed that uh, the game has come in. Um, other couriers are available, and just in case you want to think we're showing uh, favoritism to Amazon. But I'm going to have to. What I can do is I can open it live. Probably don't show your address, I think. No, that's fine. Well, just, okay. just, you <laughs> might have got away Poo's, with that bit. Poo's in the post or something. There we go. Mm. Back there. Poo's in the post. Okay. Or whatever okay. people send when they're sealed. So, yeah, look, there it is. Ooh, shiny. So I'll I mean, be playing that later. Confusing. I haven't cause, played it now. Because obviously, disappointed that you've only just opened it now. But at the same yeah. time, obviously, 
sexually aroused by the box art there. I know, seems, you know. I know. I do. I'm, 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 you're seeing on screen my. Uh, oh, I do like that. That is lovely. It's a nice. It's a nice. I might collection. just start stroking it off camera a little bit, so to the, speak. The game. Mm, a bit of both. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, been seeing a lot. Stroking on, uh... it off camera. Just writing that down as the this go. week's That's podcast the, title. The name of the pod. Yeah, there you go. I, I mean, I can't wait. I mean, obviously, yeah. You, you, what are you going to play first? You're... Oh, I've been thinking about this. I kind of feel like it's wrong to not play Mario 64. Just do it chronologically. But I also know mm. there's no way I'm going to be able to just play one through all the way through and then not play no, the next. No, and so... The... so which was the one you would have played most recently? Otherwise, like in terms, like I'm guessing 64. From 3DS, perhaps? I'm trying to figure out if it's Galaxy or 64. Well, Sunshine Galaxy would have been the 2. one I've played the, the longest ago, if that makes sense. Which kind yeah. of makes me want to play it first. That's what I if, did. In, 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 I kind of... I feel like... I don't, I'm definitely not going to play Galaxy first. I'm, mm. I'm weighing up whether it's 64 or Sunshine. Mm. Uh, I think it... Thinking about it, I think it might be Sunshine. Yeah. That, that, I just... That game is just... And I feel like I'd know less about it, if that makes sense. I feel like I know Mario 64 less, inside maybe. out in my mind. I know a lot about Galaxy because I can remember it, whereas I, I remember bits and pieces about Sunshine. And I reckon if mm -hmm. I went in now, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Um, so, yes, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. I mean, Galaxy, I mean, we won't. There's, maybe next week when like Adam will be on, I'm sure he'll have played it as well. Um, I'm, Chris White, I'm guessing you haven't partook no, in it? No, no, I, I will want you? to. Yeah, okay. absolutely will. Yeah. Absolutely will. Yeah, my um, my daughter, my oldest wants it for a birthday, which is in October, end of October. Okay. So, Perfect. I'll um, I'll get it for her. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, then, one of those. But yeah, no, I absolutely yeah. can't wait to play it. I've, no, I've, I mean, I played Galaxy recently. Yeah, like a, couple, like a year or so ago. But Sunshine again, like Chris, I'm not played that for donkeys. And then Mario sixty four is Mario sixty four. Yeah, can't wait to get back into it. No, I understood. Um. But, yeah. I, I won't like say I'm not going to talk loads about it. Just going to briefly say what the only disappointment for me is that it is a bare bones package. There's not a lot to it. It's just three games and some soundtracks. And I did. We. I, I still. I will always wish that they'd made a galaxy completely motion control free. And mm -hmm. what they've done is replaced it with touch screen. If you're in handheld, otherwise you do need to use motion, and that's fine. Yeah. I just. I. I would love to. I. It is what it is. I would yeah. like to have played I'd this like just, option. you know, yeah, the, option, the controller. I think. But the, the, yeah. this is not a release that has had an awful lot of work gone into it, from what I understand. So that's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I think it's it's almost one of those where you, you know, write in the review, it's like it's this feels people have made their choice. They're going to buy this or they're not, and they're not yeah, going to change their mind based on it. Like, I'm well mm. happy about this. If I'm, if I'm smiling, happy on the video part of this podcast if you see it mm. it's because i just keep looking at mario and i just, just look oh, at it. yeah it's it's yeah. you know much the same as i'm happy. looking at my own face and and really being pleased with myself like a games <laughs> journalist is yeah. um you know I, I understand where you're coming from i my, i'm looking at what is you, you're looking at mario i'm just looking at myself all the time there <laughs> you look at you imagine <laughs> imagine my world i get to look at mario and then look at you and then look at mario and look at you it's just Everywhere must, I look, I mean, I, I'm just, just stunning. Yeah. If you faint at any point, it's just purely because you spent an hour at half mast, isn't it? It's like, well, I don't, you know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bloods anyway, elsewhere. Do you know what I mean? Speaking of, yeah. Speaking of half mast, let's get into the bulk of it. Um, this we're going to talk about this. This, this is. Excuse me, I'm trying not to sniff on mic or cough. And like, if there's any little things you see on the video version, they're like, what's that? That's because I'm trying to mute myself and not have it appear on camera. I apologize. I'm trying. Um, the PlayStation 5. That doesn't look good off camera, does it? Me banging my chair. But <laughs> like um, the PlayStation 5 has. Um, we know now that it's all out there. Everything's out there. We know we did. We talked about the Xbox S and X, Series S and Series X. We know all about the pricing. Now we know about the PlayStation 5. Sony did what we thought they'd do. They put out a big, long video. Um, I'm going to start by saying I I thoroughly enjoyed the 45 minutes of it. Like, it was, it had some surprises. Some stuff I knew about, you do get inside information sometimes. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Nice surprises. I do think some of it was very weird. And from someone who does a lot of video production, I feel like there was some stuff that seemed rushed so we'll, we'll, we'll jump straight to it for example you know the, the the playstation 5 price and release date is november the 19th here is it and yep. the 12th in america and a few Japan other countries they, places, they, yeah. they do this every time it's mm -hmm. always a week behind uh i don't think that's right but you know 
I'm assuming they've tried to get as close to the tenth as they can. I would. And they realise they can get there in other markets. I'm almost sure because I was the one who covered the PS4 and Xbox One. I'm almost sure that they were a week apart last time, but at the same thing, it was days. And I remember literally they both arrived at my house on the same day, and I got home to these big boxes full of console and games and being like. I don't remember what I started for. I think it was the Xbox. I think it was Rise, Son of Rome. Remember that game? Oh, yeah. yeah well, not me personally. Good. I remember it being released, but I didn't get my Xbox. Well, the thing is, that game was graphically incredible, and it's like, well, this is that's what, that's what I need to see. Mm. Um, but anyway, yeah, 359.99 digital version, 449.99 for the normal version. The digital version seems almost impossible to find, and I would guess that that is partially because they aren't making aren't making many of them yet they will make more of them as the generation goes on but i would imagine that is a way for them to say hey the playstation 5 is 359.99 cheaper than the series x which is true if you can find it so the price is what it is happy with the price guys well right. it's lower than everything that we said we got it wrong again didn't we, we? can stop making predictions on this yeah which <laughs> just awful at the pricing but it's good because they always <laughs> listen to us and then go we're going to make them look like idiots and come in lower so that's great um i'll take I mean, that if I, that's our influence on the yeah, industry well, yeah exactly that, yeah. we obviously i mean we talked about um 399 449 didn't we and yeah i think we were even talking about could they even do a hundred pound difference and i thought it, it was 369 is. but maybe i didn't in fact is it not three no it's 359 isn't it? yeah yeah, yeah. 359, yeah. yeah. Will, will you... we, i don't think we went lower than 399 for the digital when we were talking about it did you i mean you both want one presumably i mean everyone wants one if they're into games of course you do but you, if either of you, if either of you managed to secure a pre-order, I know, I know the answer. No, to one and, no, no, it's making me sad. I've, I've tried. Okay. I've tried. If you I've, were... got my, I've got my own notification on the old Amazon. Really? Yeah. yeah. Same. So they... as soon as it goes live again. So I mean, we may as well get this out of the way because we're going to have a lot of positivity. I, I feel like coming now, but I, we may as well get the negative out of it. They fucked that up so badly. Like <laughs> Jeff Keighley announced pre-orders essentially, like. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, like, yeah. yeah. The one frustration I think it was almost like, oh, and here's the price. See you later. Whereas I think an Xbox, it was like, here's the price, and this is when it's releasing, and this they're is when not, you can pre-order it from. Their messaging has and, been brilliant. You know, and and they're. I yeah. almost feel like they give a damn about the consumerism, and I get whole, you know, create hype and supply and demand stuff. But yes, but they're taking like, yeah, that too far, a, isn't there? Yeah, I feel like finding out from a tweet from someone else. You best, you best hope you saw that tweet. Um, yeah. And then also, it wasn't like yeah. um, they all went live at the same time. Like the Jeff Keighley's tweet was like they're coming live tomorrow, and then game yeah. had pre-orders like midnight. But don't or you feel or... like again that felt like because you think about it when the not conference but when the, the the show went up, it would have been like early afternoon in America. So yeah. making them available for pre-order right after was absolutely a fine thing to do in America. Um, in yeah. Europe and everywhere else, it's it's like ten, eleven o'clock, you know. Yeah, and obviously the levels of stock is just well, it's minutes. If you're not lucky to be in the the first five minutes of hearing that somewhere's got them, then that's it. You find yeah, by the time I get the message from some of my, one of my mates going, "Oh, get ch- click this link," I'm like, "Yep, it says sold out." Um, yeah, so it's, just, it's just really. So I mean, it's frustrating, but would out of interest, had either of you managed to get a pre order? I, I haven't either, for the record. I would have gone disc version for now. What would you guys have gone? Discless. You would. I haven't played a computer disc in years. My, my disc. you would have gone disc. See, my reason yep. for going disc is, 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 if I wasn't doing this job, I would have gone discless. Um, my worry is that sometimes with a new generation, it goes back to being discs for a while. Then they get into. The... But saying that, I feel like the idea with the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X is that I just log into my account and it's kind of all there. So in theory. Yeah. That means the sort of the Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network infrastructure is essentially the same. And if they're doing this thing like they, and we'll get into it, where they've said like you know if you if you buy um, game on this console, it will free upgrade to next console. Yeah. It kind of has to work that way in terms of digital entitlements. It, it, we, we know it will with Xbox because of um. All the, I mean, they've even said you can just get your. I'm I'm going to be able to get my hard drive with the Xbox, plug it into the Series S and X. And it's all the games are just there, and if they need to update yeah. for textures, and that's great. And I would assume the same thing. So price, yeah, the pre-orders were fucked up. The price is, I mean, there's not an. The awful price lot is to am- amazing, about. really. When I we think, think about yeah, yeah. go three weeks ago, it's still expensive. Said to me, I mean, yeah, the co- consoles. I think we were yeah. expecting 
yeah. ridiculously expensive. Five nine nine. We said sides. it. Yeah, five nine nine. I think people would have not been outraged. They'd have been a bit disappointed, but they they were kind of half expecting. It. I think so. Then to come in at the prices that yeah. we're seeing, you know, three five nine and and then a, a two fifty for a, a a Series S is. I mean, it's just. You know, in terms just to, of just, in terms just of to, entry points to, to break away slightly from Sony, we will get deep into it. But did any of you see the Dirt Five Series S stuff? Have you seen like I, I posted them in our Discord, so I know a lot of people will know what I'm talking about. But like the Series S videos they are putting out, like they show the smart, um, not smart delivery, the the um, quick transition between games and the load time increases. I haven't. No, very impressive, man. Like yeah. That, yeah. it looks like you can store four games. Do you know how we thought you would be able to with this generation, where you could suspend a game, play another one, come back to it? This is that, yeah. but it's like it doesn't just pause the game. Like they went, they loaded back into. They started, I think, with Star Wars, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and he's literally mm. mid swing, and they hit the button and suspended it and went to. I think it might have been Ori, but again, they, they it was actually quite clever. They went through all four genera- all, all the generations of Xbox. Oh, cool. they, they even yeah. went to like black you know the xbox original xbox yeah. game um and then when they went back to star wars it was like he's still in mid three hadn't even paused it. it just like it's like a, almost like a nintendo suspect um oh uh, like a sleep safe state thing. like a suspend yeah, yeah. point like, and it's like that oh, is yeah, yeah. that's really impressive and that's a clever yeah. thing to show they also showed the load times they ran on the, the interesting thing is they're not showing anything on series x yet which says to me they are going to have some impressive shit to show. I mean, yeah. it will do all of this, plus you know, it will be even more plus powerful. Other, yeah, yeah um, but they also showed, like, I think, yeah, Outer Worlds? Worlds yeah. or Worlds? The, the Obsidian Bethesda. one. Yes. Yeah, Outer Worlds. It's, yeah. it's not Bethesda, but yeah, I get where you... Yeah. 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 For all intents and purposes. But they showed that running, mm-hmm. and it loaded in from, like, you know, press A to load. Like, I think it was 10 seconds. And then they showed the Xbox... Was it a 1S? Or one X. It doesn't really matter. The same basic architecture, and it took fifteen, like fifty-eight seconds. Mm. So that is like a what, an eighty percent to ninety percent increase. Yeah. And, that, and that's yeah. the thing is, admittedly they're in a corner because they haven't got first-party exclusives to show right now. But what they are doing is saying the user experience is the thing we know you moaned about. We've yeah. fixed it, and that to me yeah. left me quite excited. But back to Sony. Um, again really weird thing to do because I'll, I'll run through the games i've got here that are launch titles that on the day you get your ps5 you can play devil may cry 5 i don't know why i've put that first but i just i it's a great game and like mm-hmm. better resolution and, and faster frame rates happily yep. play that again yeah um spider-man miles morales i mean are we that... pausing to talk about it I think like, we have to because I think yeah. that was a very impressive showing <laughs> of what the five is going. Because this is the thing: the Sony's PS Five apparently isn't as powerful, and I have concerns about the power. But what they do with first party exclusives, they always look very good. They always look, yeah, and that that they, looked. They, can we, the, can we um, just talk about the what the hell was going on? Because you guys are more Marvel into Marvel than me, I believe. You know more. I know Chris White will be able to. I'm sure, hopefully, be able to fill in the blanks. What was with all the electricity and stuff? When he was it's, it's, doing his moves, it was like charged with yellow. The the power the <coughs> the capsules that belong to Roxton, the company, right? That he's clearly had another reaction to the. What is that was what in that those. is? I assume that's what that was. Yeah, it kind <laughs> of all so. exploded into him, didn't it? But I, yeah, yeah. Mm, but and he didn't then... seem to be like, oh, what's all this shit? He just it seemed <laughs> to be like, <laughs> no. So I, I don't know if they cut was... that bit out, maybe. Uh, but... Yeah, you, you'll have had that filled in for you. That that this this um in the interest of time. Mm. Yeah, they just they just showed this this explosion happening. Him again feeling some kind of mutation or reaction to it with what's inside mm. him. I don't know. Maybe but they cut a cutscene out of that. It's a way. Scene. It's a way to give him new powers. But that outside looks so of good. the swing. It's, oh. oh, you've got you've got a cloaking device. You've got the ability to like stealth around and not be seen. You've got the fucking whatever was happening with his hands like exploding <laughs> the um yeah. like it's nuts. And the fact that this Sorry. was all ga- this was a gameplay demo, right? And yeah. then you you think back to cinematics in Spider Man, yeah, with Peter Parker. Yeah. That is what you see it. You're playing a cinematic essentially because that's how good it looks. Like it was it was insane. And whereas, like in Spider-Man, the the kind of combat was mental. 
is brilliant, is by the way. That's what I was so just about to say. Can we remember that Spider-Man combat was really... Absolutely. It was like the Arkham yeah. combat with, like... And that which On everyone steroids. loved. It On was, steroids, yeah, a, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. And it built up your moveset throughout the game. So by the end, you've got all these new moves, but you're all on top of it you know exactly what you're doing because it's built it so well i'm I think so that, ready for that game that i didn't think i was here, yeah. i thought it felt like it's you know another spot but like the one thing i'm i'm not cautious about but the one thing it was the one little yeah little negative in my head when i was watching it i was like there's a lot going on for my eyes and my but hands that's because you're watching it yeah. not playing oh i know it. and, and that's i could i made I spider-man like... well, spider-man i could make that game look in fact i remember watching i forget which was it the dlc i think it was either chris i think no i think it was you chris you captured the deal one of the dlcs i can't remember one of us yeah. did um and when you watch the footage it makes you look like you are badass at that game but you're not actually like doing anything you are just oh, oh no it was more i was more th- and i agree with you there mm. but i was more thinking I just, I was like, am I going to get motion sickness? All the stuff that's literally flowing at me, all these particles. Well, also worth going. noting that and, that was a 1080p yeah. 60 stream. You weren't seeing HDR on that stream. Yeah. Like I say, it was just something that entered into my head. I was like, this looks mm. amazing. That's what I came away mm. with looking at it. I was like, am I going to be able to focus on what I should be doing in the game? Because there's so much going on. Because it looks like think, you've got to... Yeah. I think you're to, to keep right. your pace up, you're going to have to be on it. Obviously. But that was that, the first um, game was one where you had to keep moving. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not you. saying I, I didn't, but I kind of that, like to say it was that on steroids, now. wasn't it? With all the other stuff going on, because normally you're like in the streets or something, or in a warehouse. Yeah, but fighting. there will be, there will still be, definitely will be. It w- people expecting a massive departure from the game that came out what two years ago are going to be disappointed because it will be that game mm. with new stuff looking better. Um, of it's, it will, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. And also, Chris, hey, if you find it a bit too much on the PS5, they've got a console for you. It's the PS4 because this <laughs> game is also coming to PS4 and we will get to that. We're not just skipping over that. Um, yeah, but Spider-Man's a launch game, um, which is good if they bloody sort of good. Yeah, make I, that I'm, clear. Get, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> okay, right, uh, yeah. The, the, and we'll, the next game on the list, okay, is... is Demon Souls, which mm-hmm. they showed the gameplay of, and they they I, they almost suggested they, again they didn't really tell you. There's a section where he goes to a bonfire, and then it loads him into the next area, and it's like bang instant. And the suggestion's been from people, "Wow, look at that loading time." Mm. But that could have just been the way they cut the video, and they didn't really make a song and dance about it, like "Look at the load time." So I don't know if we're yeah. supposed to be looking at that, going "Look at the load times," or if it's just the way they because they, there's there's sections of gameplay, then they cut to the next one, then they cut to the next. They're showing off the gameplay. That yeah. might have just been an accident. Like it happens sometimes as a video editor, you do that, and you're like, "Oh, that looks really cool." I didn't mean it to, but it's worked out, so I'll leave it in. Um, I, and I like to think it's an expectation we're supposed to have that the load times I... are just a million times better. That would be that would be the best case. But yeah, I, see what I mean, you're saying. for me, this is a weird one, right? Because I love the Souls games, but I think Demon's Souls is the worst one. And the fact it's become this cult status thing, like if you go back to that game, it runs like shit, like really badly, really badly. Um, but Bluepoint are great. So I wonder, because they're, they're, I would like to see them add difficulty levels to this, like make it a full-on sort of Sony third-person, first-party exclusive, you know, like your God of Wars, like your Spinal, you know, make it... And I felt the camera angle was adjusted as much to... that It looked less like a Souls and more like one of those Sony sort of Santa Monica. But yeah, they yeah, can't I mean, change the way, too much because... The way it, the way it, the way it played and, and that, well, it showed, obviously yes. it wasn't, you know, obviously the, the HUD and stuff was Well, gone, I assume the HUD but, will be there. Yeah, there unless there's I'm, a HUD almost mode. Yeah, I'm, it was more just for the... The, yeah, the I mean, there will probably it, but... be a HUD mode where you can turn it off. Probably. Yeah, but I, 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 it when I was watching it, obviously it it looked soulsy in the sense of the yes. way it was playing and and the combat and stuff. But I agree with you. It was almost like a different game with nods to Souls rather than the other way around. Like, but I feel seeing like they... that, seeing the the um comparison since, like it is identical but upgraded. Uh, but I, I get the... what you mean. It's almost like they've tried to. Make yeah. it not just look like another Souls. Imagine game. if it has yeah. an easy mode, because oh. this is a first party. I'll be playing it. Console launch day <laughs> game. Yeah, uh, this is one of yeah. their flagpole releases, and it's going to yeah, be kind of what people are trying, it, don't you? 
Have they? Have, but then Bloodborne did well. I wonder if they just gone. Nah, this will sell. But also, again, Chris, you 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 alluded to it with Spider Man. Would have been nice for them to say this will be available day one. Yeah. Not just show don't it. Don't know why they wouldn't. You know? I, again, same. Don't know why you wouldn't do that. Why would you not shout about this game being? It's it's weird. It's weird. Godfall is another launch title which I'll, I'll play probably. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I'm, I can't sit here and pretend I'm hyped about it. I'm, I'm... It looks all right. It looks good, but it's not really my scene. Yeah. Um, Sackboy: A Big Adventure is a launch title, which is again. Yeah, so, um, I I think this could be incredible. I've just Absolutely. got a good feeling about it. Uh-huh. I think they've 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 PlayStation have had some like Astro Bot like that. That's a launch I, title. I oh, sorry, next. Astro's Playroom is in, is included on the PlayStation. Yeah. Game, so, but like the VR game, that platforming was insane. Yeah. Like, I that was such a good game, and I've just got a feeling the people behind Sackboy are gonna. It's. I just got a good feeling about. It. I think it's gonna be good. It looks great. The platforming's just. I just need a good platformer like Knack Two as well. Mm. I was expecting that to be shit, but that That's was good amazing. Game. Good game. Yes, it is. Um, it is. So I'm, I mean, I'm quite hyped for that. Aside the obviously the third party games, also Destruction All Stars is a launch title, which again mm-hmm. I think looks quite interesting. I would like to. Yeah. I'd like to have a go yeah. on that one. Um, the launch lineup is the launch lineup. You either there's something there for you or there isn't. You know, there's nothing. I'm I'm pleased that I'll get to play Demon Souls, Spider Man, Sackboy, and um, all the third party stuff. You know, it's out. Yeah. It's out. The console's out the same day as Cyberpunk 2077, which they've said will be available on launch day as well for you know that console. Be really interesting to see if that's available because the Xbox One X and S obviously have had heavy marketing with them. Um, it'd be really interesting to see if that's available. If they change the release date, mm. really interesting to, 10th, to see. Yeah, yeah, or if it stays, they could still release it on PS4 on the tenth. Be really interested. Yeah, mm. yeah. We we'll see, you know, if some money changes hand essentially, and 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 then Microsoft get hold of CDPR and like, hey, how much? Because we'd love that game on Xbox One X before PS5. Um, mm. So the other the other thing that's come out of this is. Um, controversial perhaps because a lot of people i don't know i can't remember if we spoke about it last week um saying like the i think we commented that the rumors were the series s would hold back the x Mm -hmm. and sony have kind of so for horizon forbidden west sackboy a big adventure and spider-man miles morales morales is coming out on ps4 now, the, now Spider Man doesn't shock me. Sackboy no, the one that surprises me, me Horizon. is Horizon Forbidden yeah. West because you think the other two are launch titles. Of course, it makes sense for the people that don't jump launch on launch day to still play those games. That happens more often yes. than not when you get a new console. But given we don't know when Horizon Forbidden West is coming, do we? I don't think we do. Not not so well, secure. It, it, uh, so, so we should. Let, I'll quickly go through them. So there was well, we just mentioned God of War Two or God of War Ragnarok, Ragnarok, mm-hmm. which has been announced with a 2021 date on it. Yeah, they don't think they did that with Horizon. No, it was no. more we're making it. I don't think it yeah. said. I, doesn't it look gorgeous? I, it does, but I would be kind of shocked if that and God of War Two came out next year. Yeah, be a big bloody year. Well, so you think in 2020 for? Well, I mean, it, I kind of it. This is where I was getting to because does it kind of mean that this is coming out before the end of the year? That's why it's also on PS4. Horizon, I don't think it's no way it's out this year. So, so why is it being launched to PS4 title then? Uh, that I don't, I don't, don't know. Hello, Chris's daughter. Oh. For those watching the video, <laughs> um, I would have. Ah, you yes, see, I don't know. I'd like to say Horizon will be out next year, but why wouldn't they say that? But if Horizon, <laughs> if Horizon's not out next year. Then are you telling me they're releasing a 2022 game on PS4? But Xbox have said they're doing that. I just don't think the Xbox have said like two, three years they'll be supporting. I mean, yeah. they, this, this the, the sort of dark secret is they won't because there won't be Xbox Ones on store shelves, you know. But they will. Mm. People will still own them. Mm, um, yeah. It's it's a it's 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 weird. Um, uh, the thing. The thing is, I guess it's weird to it's weird to announce now. Like, why? I well, get why you would say, "Don't worry, don't those two launch games forced. are coming to PS4." They don't want people to feel but, like they have to, but I don't get that either. The thing, the thing is, the reason people are letting games like this off and not letting the likes of Halo off are because I believe with PlayStation games, 
they generally look very impressive. Like, first-party Sony games are in that spot now where, like, they look... I mean, look at Last of Us, look at Ghost of Tsushima, look at look at them, they they look... Yeah. Now, I will, I will fucking argue that Gears 5 looks incredible on a Series X with the, the, the HDR, incredible. But there's definitely a case to be made that Sony push... They also have a style. Let's not pretend they don't. That they they don't just make them, but Sony very much go for that third person action adventure shootery. They they have a style. Yeah. Whereas Microsoft, you think of them, and maybe maybe in the past you'd have gone first person shooter, but I don't know that you would now. And with all the studios they've acquired, you certainly can't. But I think people are letting this slide because they know that. Horizon's gonna look good wherever you play it, and so Spider Man. But if you want it to look the best, PS Five. But I think that's what that's what Xbox is saying, isn't it? As well, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, other new games that were announced: Final Fantasy Sixteen. Um, looks great. Yep, I'm happy about yeah. that. Looks, looks great. Looks right. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. Security Breach. Scared the pants off me when that thing screamed. I was like, you're not expecting yeah. it. Well, I'm, I, I didn't know how it was going to come out, but okay. I was just like, I was like, yeah, I was, I was like, what's going on? I was like, right, yeah, okay. thanks. Just um, go and wipe my chair. I've forgotten the name of it, and I haven't written the title down, but the Hogwarts Legends, was it? <sighs> Legacy. Legacy, it Hogwarts might have been. Legacy. Um, difficult one, that game, because there's obviously, you know, issues with with harry potter right now yeah i I, I know i know some of my friends are absolutely going mad about that like in terms of they want that game they're probably less into the whole yes news bubble about but i I think to be honest with um, you that game's gonna have to be pretty special to 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 push through some of that because it's not like there's a shortage of third person open world action adventure video games you know like Watch Dogs legions is out i do think the, the world it's set in will draw a lot of people i think I Even think it now. looks incredible. Like it, it does look absolutely amazing. It's a real difficult one to pass because there are a team of people who I would guess I would I would, and I don't know and I can't speak for them and I wouldn't pre- ever try to. But I would guess ninety nine percent plus of the people working on that game do not share J.K. Rowling's beliefs. So where do you? Yeah. No, well, this is why it's hard when this happens. It, it's happened with other companies recently. It really has. Where yeah. there's a team of developers that have got nothing to do with anything that's happened, but they will get collateral damage with the same brush because they're under the same company. So I think yep. people have to remember that this world of Harry Potter means a lot to people, and you kind of have to not look past her because what she's what she supports and what she said is pretty vital. Yeah. But this world is about, is about so much more than that. And I think with this development team, like you say, 99% of people, 0.9% won't. And it's won't, worth, won't. worth pointing out that they... I mean, I wonder how long this has been ready to announce and they've been like, fuck, when? When, that, when can the, we announce that's this? That's the thing because I was going to say. Like, it's not... shut up. And, and yeah. it's, it's really yeah. strange when someone who has such difficult but different beliefs compared to the people who are perhaps front and centre of things... Um, and who are all kind of being tarred with the same brush or being told, oh, you just shouldn't work there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. But and people, some people listening will know why I'm trying not to laugh. But like people being told, you just shouldn't do it. You should, you know, just morally. And it's like, you know what? Morally, but the thing just, is... Just people, create your own fantasy universe and yeah. make a game about that. People, That's what you should People do. have put a lot of yeah. time and effort into something that has become yeah. more more about them than it is about other people. And maybe they're just not ready to just give everything up and just fucking hope they get jobs elsewhere. Um, yeah. Life is not as simple as Twitter makes out. I, it, It's difficult. It's very difficult because you you wonder at some point where this all ends. And and like for me, like I say, there's, it's going to have to be a very, very good game or, or because there are a lot and there's not a shortage of these kind of games. Um, no, I think I think if it if it was another kind of generic fantasy dragon open world game, then I'd agree with you. I think honestly, I yeah, think the mass, Harry Potter mass Hogwarts thing mass, will pull yeah, yeah, people fine. that may not even play these types of games before. 
it, it will do just fine. But what I would yeah. ask is, please do not send abuse to the developers of this game or the community managers of this game, because they, no. like I say, almost I can almost guarantee they don't share the same beliefs as the people you're angry at. Please don't abuse them. Please don't treat them like shit because there's a chance that they are just out in the big wide world just trying to make a go of it themselves and their life is hard, fucking hard enough. Um, and just, uh, by the way, just to tag on the end of that, God of War 2, Ragnarok. Hey. And that's how you was do I, a teaser. Yeah. Was I clever for calling that because I shouted God of War 2 at the screen as soon as they went did the whole Nintendo. One more thing. And I was like, God of War 2. And I felt really chuffed with myself that I got it right, but I'm guessing it had to be that right. I'm not that clever. I think I felt similar to you that it was kind of like, is this? Mm. Um, I d- it's not. They haven't actually named it. Like I had the press release no. from Sony, and it doesn't. It just says like the next God of War game because so, it, I guess because it mentions Ragnarok, which obviously is the big. What I'm surprised about, right? The biggest surprise for me wasn't that they announced this; it's that it's coming next year. Because I feel like didn't the one that we all loved, the re- the reboot, didn't that take like four or five years? Wasn't there some story about it? Like it was a one shot. The whole game's one continuous shot. Uh, didn't it take four or five years? And this one is like out next year. It's like, is it? Depends if it's like uh, Lost Legacy, isn't it? I don't is get it, the feeling they would a... do that. Oh, I suppose. Well, they I really you know now. You've said that because uh, the, the Spider Man Miles Morales that isn't a full game, is it? It's not like a short. It is game. a full game, but it is it. But it's, it's, set it's limited in the same as long sort of, as Spider-Man. They will have reused... At, well, I, from what I've, I, I thought they said it was like 10 hours plus side quests, which is... That's perfect, then. Yeah, That's perfect, I, I, I think you're... You, you know, I hadn't even considered it, but now you've said it, it could well be like a almost a connector between... Yeah. Them. I, then, I mean, then, God of War was, was incredible, but oh, it was yeah. like 18 hours. Well, but no, it was longer than no, that. No, it was near 30, mate. 30, yeah. 20, hours. 20 to 30, minimum. So, so like, half that and release it, I'd still... Love it, and it's. I still get a lot out of it. Really, but think, occurred do, to you, me. Do, you, do you not think there would be noise? Right, if you're, if you're going to do that, everyone right now, apart from I guess maybe you two, think it's God of War two proper. No, not, I did not. until Chris said it, and I yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh. that's what I mean. So like, well, I'm just wondering they, how they, they got it done so quick. Yeah, I, I don't know that, but I'm guessing I'm more saying if they go, oh no, this has always just been kind of side spin. It's not a proper game. You kind of think, well, don't tease us like it clearly. Yeah, it's not. There, there wasn't much to that teaser. Just Kratos's voice and yeah, you, came, you came away thinking it was the next one in the series. Well, there, there, wasn't, one in the series, there wasn't. There wasn't a number two hours. on screen, was there? No, there, there wasn't, wasn't a anything. Number two, so, but, but what I'm saying is whether it's a, 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 a God of War colon Ragnarok or God of War two, it is still the next God of War game in the same way that the, Uncharted Lost Legacy was another yeah, Uncharted game. Yeah. I don't yeah. care if I'm honest with you. I, I mean, I, I no, there is that. I'd play you know, it no matter what. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah I've, I've sort of re- I've talked myself into it and then out of it and back into it. Like I don't care. <laughs> I want more of that game. Um, mm. Chris, you're gonna have to cover for me because I need to cough. And I don't mind which Chris. That's why I said Chris. Well, Chris, I can because I haven't got the actual sheet in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I was, so. The other thing, Thank obviously, you. that they announced in the uh, in the kind of the PS5 reveal was kind of the PlayStation Plus collection that you yes. can get on PS5. Which, am I again? Am I naive for not expecting? But I thought this was banging. I thought this was a really good. I, I little... think it's good, and I think it shows you how aware, or I don't want to say frightened, but how aware of Xbox Game Pass they are. Because I, I think I've said before, they could do Game Pass and have dabbled with it in PlayStation Now. Mm. I didn't think they would go this far this quick. No, I, I, I mean, I was looking through the games going, well, I've already played that, I've already played I've already got that. And then there was more and more, and I was like, oh, I haven't played that, I haven't played that. And I was like, this is actually, there's going to be a lot of people here that have probably played half of those, but there's yeah. going to be a few that they haven't played on that list that they'll just go, oh, that's good. And obviously they've come out since and said it's not full-on Game Pass style. No, but there's, a, there's, forward, there's, but it's a, a, there's nice... a really, really interesting facet to this that I haven't yet seen to discussed, and we, we shall do it now, because... I'm the brilliant games media man, Adam Cook, and I'm going to... Right, Bloodborne, Sony. God of War, Sony. Monster Hunter World. Capcom. Arkham Knight. Mm. Fallout 4. Persona 5. Yeah. These are... N- well, Persona is, they're but not the other games... Party, I guess. Well, what I'm saying is they're not exclusives. They're not exclusives, no. That's what Game was... Pass does. They put the first party exclusives mm. out there. Yeah, that's but true. But the, the big draw is all those games you can play 
as well, isn't it? So yep. they're saying this isn't Game Pass. It kind of looks like it, but on a admittedly yeah, sc- yeah, pulled back scale, doesn't it? Monster Hunter yeah, World was literally on Game how... Pass. Arkham Knight was yeah. literally on Game Pass. The amount Think... of games on Game Pass that are not shit, but are smaller, shit. smaller. Yeah, like if if this it's is to work on your marketing, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never work for Microsoft. Um, but if you have a smaller collection and it is a similar kind of thing to Plus, like they might they might do that and then not not have like first party exclusives coming to this service. I'm fine mm. with that. As long as I've got a nice ball of games to choose from. But Game Pass think... didn't start with however many hundred titles is it on it. No. no and I'll... Quite, quite, quite I'll... Grow. Yeah. I do wonder if it's going to be a test for them as well. Mm-hmm. Like, Just put your, dip your toe in the water with big games, but old games. You know, you're not is, it, putting... is, it, yeah. is it a free add-on? Or is it... I can't remember yeah. what they said. It's so I think, you don't yeah. have to play any extra. It's for PlayStation 5 owners... We'll I think it's of... yeah. You have to play for PlayStation Plus, but if you've got PlayStation Plus and you've got a PS5, then that's yeah, that's the collection. So rather than like the two games a month or whatever, it's just I can't remember how many it is, but there was there was a fair few. Um, They've needed to touch that PlayStation Plus setup for a while now. Yeah. yeah. Once they pulled out the PS3 and PS Vita games, they've needed to. Yeah. Well, yeah, they have like, been doing it's... better with the the choice of games they've yeah. been putting on there, but it's still lagging behind. So the last this thing... month, it's like Street Fighter Five in it and Battlegrounds. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They're... Wow, good games, but yeah, um, yeah. The last thing I've got on the list is more of a question. Um, the one thing, and we've seen more of it before now, and we've put and game. Uh, where was it? The Jeff, the Game Awards, the Gamescom opening night. They said it will be a launch window game. Where's Ratchet and Clank gone all of a sudden? Yeah, I did expect. I expected to see more of more of this, almost like a. A move on from like the original gameplay trailer that they were oh, showing. I expected off. I was... maybe a trailer and I, a release date. I mean, oh, a release date as well. Quite yeah. a lot of videos recently of the gameplay from there that. Has, there has. They don't need so to show it, any more of it. No, but I, I think they'll they'll have the release of the PS5, and then maybe it comes March time. I think that there's enough there for for people with the PS5 to just get stuck into. I mean, what, they must... what's your interpretation of launch window? Before January. Personally, yeah, yeah, I think it's got to come this year, right? I think it will. I just, you I said wonder March, also. And I'm like, that's not a launch window to me. But, Five months is not a launch window. But it's a lot me. of pressure to put on one studio to have Spider Man and Ratchet and Clank out for launch. I mean, they're both yeah. they're yeah. obviously far enough along that the games are near enough done. Yeah. I mean, yeah. to be honest with you, they must be near enough going gold because they're out in five weeks. One of them is anyway. Yeah. But it just seemed a bit odd. Again, there was a lot of mixed messaging at this thing. Uh, I left yeah. it generally feeling quite good. You yeah, know? I think it was one. Of, it was one of those ones where I, I think, and this is my own fault because I felt so uh, blown away by the last one um, that I think it was like I'm not as blown away, but because I knew a lot of the stuff. But then the things that they did show that I didn't know previously, I was quite happy about. So I think, on reflection, all in all, it was a pretty decent show. Mm. Um, you know, a, a few new details, a couple of surprises that I wasn't expecting, but I'm quite happy about. And then a couple of things that maybe aren't for me, but I can see the appeal for a lot of other people. So yeah, yeah. all in all, it's decent. Just the messaging to consumers was just completely absent half the time. It's very, like I say, that felt cobbled together toward the end there. And like there was a bit, there was, I forgot even to mention that they spent a while on Call of Duty. I thought which looked very good, very impressive. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the reason I need I to try the alpha. I, ha- I haven't tried well, it yet. I need you'll to... have to do it very quickly because by the time this yeah. has gone live, it'll be done. Um, yeah. I, the, the reason I didn't get on with Modern Warfare is because they've gone so far down a realistic looking route is that half the time I can't see the enemies I'm supposed to be shooting at and who's bad and who's good. So, And that looks to be just continuing that. It looks amazing looking. Mm. It really does. Um, that's Sony, that I guess, before we wrap the week this week's podcast up, the question I've got, got, got to ask is, let's pretend you're not in the games media. Let's pretend you have a choice to make here and you're not you know, loaded and you can't have everything. You can't have you know, the PS5 and Xbox with extra controllers and every game. You can't spend you know, probably the best part of 1500 on getting set up properly um chris hyde if you can only have one right now where are you going one console or one yeah. game or what well both i mean what 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 if you if what what would you, right now what are you hoping to to get out of next gen what are you hoping are you going to pick them both up what if so what games what are you looking at 
So, right so now. I'm looking right now at getting both. I think when I look at Series the... X or S, sorry, I should also... Sorry, Series X and a okay. disc PS5. Okay. What yeah. a world we live in, man, that that's like... A disc. <laughs> I know, you have to really care for what I say, like get it right. Um, I think... Choice is t- good, I'm just going to say. Sorry, yeah. on, Chris. In terms of games, I'm looking at the launch games. Spider-Man and Demon Souls are the two for me. You're not normally I'm... a Souls guy, are you? Yeah. Are you? Why don't all I think of them, you are? Yeah, no, I'm just rubbish you've, you've never games. died in. You've never no, no, Chris. You've never died in. A oh, game. sorry. Yeah, that, yeah. That's the one for this week. I'm really good. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> never yeah. died in a video um, game. Never died. No, so I don't get this whole get good thing. But yeah, um, yeah, I love Souls. So good. Mm. I have played Demon Souls, but I never, I never finished it. I think no it one did, on, mate. No one finished it. I think You're it came right. on PlayStation Plus, and then it got. That's how they managed to get it as a launch title. It. It's not a full game. No one ever finished it, so no one will ever know. I mean, I think you're a bit bitter for some reason, but. Uh... Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. How dare you? <laughs> so, so you're getting. So you didn't mention the Xbox games. What will you be playing on your Xbox? Are you, do you say you're going to be hoping to pick them both up? I'm day hoping day? to. I <sighs> so nearly just fucking dropped another glass of water. That's not becoming a thing. <laughs> yeah, every month. So, so Spider Man, um, Spider Man, Demon Soul, PS5, this, y- this Yakuza, <sighs> Yakuza, like that. I kind of feel like I have to. If um, right now, just saying, if you told me right now you could only have one of those consoles, Yakuza would be the reason I picked an X. I can that, well believe that. After that demo, I have literally yeah. not been able to stop. There's not been a week that has gone by where I haven't thought about playing that demo and gone, God, that's my perfect game. So, it looks batshit crazy and is, hilarious yeah. at the same time. And uh, yeah, uh, that that's, mm-hmm. that's number one on the list for me. I, I'm still... Sway one way or the other about Gears Tactics. That's Gears not Tactics too is sure. a brilliant launch but title like, if you haven't played it already. Yeah, and so that yeah. that probably be the second one that I'm thinking of in in uh, Xbox Series. Is X, Yakuza so. Game Pass Seven? It's not is it? I don't think I, Seven's Game Pass. Uh, Gears don't, Tactics. No, will I know it's be. the launch title. I don't know if it's Game. No, Pass I don't think well. it's Game Pass. I think because they've had them in Game Pass, I'm thinking. No, I'm pretty sure Yakuza Like a Dragon is not Game Pass. Yeah. Okay. Tell us in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think it is. Gears Tactics will be. You won't have to pay for that. You've already got Game Pass. There we go. Is that it? So they're, so they're, the, they're the four games across I thought the I had two. to be specific, so yeah. No, I just... All of them. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because um, okay. I'm not made of money. No, no, no one can afford all... Chris, I'm guessing probably you want the same that Chris has just said. Yes. I, if I'm picking a console... It is a PlayStation Five, okay, discless. Okay. But that's that's solely because I want to play Spider Man on that. Console. They've, they've said, by the way, sorry, I've just remembered. This is it's not huge news, but they have said um, Demon Souls is going to be sixty gigabytes when you download it, and Spider Man Ultimate Edition. I'm not sure why they keep saying Ultimate Edition. Is there much more content? Or maybe it's is it both games? Keep talking. I'm going to just Google what that is. Okay. I wonder if Spider-Man Ultimate Edition is both games. Because it said that's going to be 100 gigs. Unless, unless it's like um future DLC thing or something. Where I'm Googling when they released, now. Like, they released loads of Spider-Man DLC, didn't they? So maybe it's... Oh, it's, no, there you go. Having... There you go. Oh, oh wow. So Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Edition includes Spider-Man Remastered. That's why it's 100 gigs. So it's both those games. Oh, shit. That's amazing. But yeah. if you've already got the original, you can... You get it. You get it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think so, because there was a bit of kickoff about it, wasn't no, there? No, you do. I, they, they, I saw the tweet. I've seen the tweet from Insomniac saying, if you have it on PS4, you'll get it on PS5. So, sorry, Chris, are you set, so you're Spider-Man? Spider-Man, that's, that's, that's kind of it. And then, obviously, mm-hmm. with the PlayStation, you've got God of War and Horizon. and. No, but I mean, launch day, what are you, what are you looking... Oh, Spider-Man. Not Spider-Man, I'm not really... Nah, sack boy, sure. I'm, I'm not sack boy. I'm not sack boy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm not a massive fan of Demon Souls. You, you don't have to be, mate. That's fine. There's enough of them that are that will tell you off for it. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but no, I just, I just, I want, I want sack boy, but I want Spider Man. I just think he looks incredible. And the Xbox. Um, I don't know. Yakuza. Yeah, there's there's not a lot else for me at the minute. Uh, launch window wise, launch title wise, um, but I mean I haven't played Yakuza Seven, and that's oh, that annoys me, mate. Um, I've seen what you, I've seen the that fucking crab, 
Um, <laughs> the craze, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like it looks, it looks amazing, man. But I just need to play it before I could solely say that's what I want. I want the Xbox first. Okay, I'm um, I'm kind of the same as Chris Hyde, if I'm honest with you. Um, he kind of he cut he he's listed all the games that 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 I want essentially as well. Um, one thing's for sure, it's going to be a very exciting end to this year for people who are into video games. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, there is something for everyone. I think I'm surprised at the lack of racing games. Actually, I mean, Dirt Five is the uh, there you go. Dirt Five, I I really really want to play Dirt Five on the old um Xbox Series X because it looks good on S already. Um, I really want to play that. I think Dirt Five looks rad. Um, so there's that. Um, that is about a podcast this week. Is about all I can manage. If I'm completely honest with you, I can feel the old throat closing up a little bit. Um, thank you, Chris White and Chris Hyde for being here. Thanks, Thanks for me. If you enjoyed this podcast, you can get it early. Uh, via patreon.com slash god is a geek which is where we give away other stuff chris is now gonna go and stroke one off off camera to play super mario 3d all stars i'm gonna go to bed and to tell you that we're recording in the middle of the day that's how i feel but we wanted to make sure you had a podcast thank you also chris for literally having to balance your mobile phone hopefully next time you're on here we should be sorted hopefully yeah, because you got it. Yeah, you know, Chris, we, you know, from previous podcasts, Chris has got a good mic and a camera. Just, I mean, it's fine. People can see you and hear you, mate. That's all right. That's all that matters, isn't it? It's the content and the quality that shines. Through. Absolutely, absolutely. And on that note, we will <laughs> thank you very much for watching and listening, and we will see you next week or whenever you choose to listen. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.